closes up, I'm done. Would you like that? Huh? I don't know if you like potatoes, but we're about to find out. Check it out. Well, I'm sorry that I'm not very entertaining tonight, but honestly, I am absolutely destroyed. This fast got the best of me. I'll tell you that right now. It absolutely beat me up and spit me out. It got me good. You can stay. You can stay, knucklehead. You ain't going nowhere. You're good. You're cool. You gotta go jumping off. One thing about Knucklehead here, she is always very, uh, very obedient to me when I say to her to, to jump off. And I don't, I don't, I make a couple of squeaky noises, you know, like you're sucking there. I don't want to make them now because I don't want her to get down. And she's actually in her position to jump off of my left because she thinks that that our time sitting is done because she knows there's a limit and uh, and it makes me mad at myself because um, she's such a good little cat and you know, I just want to give her some some comfort because she's at home all day all alone and I tried to get her a friend but she just went nuts I gotta tell you, that stuff right there, that home tea. I can, my stomach can be all goofy and I can feel all loopy. And I drink this stuff and I don't know what it is about the green tea and the black tea it's working together. But it sort of just brings it down a bit. It's not, it's not magical. It doesn't make me feel wonderful. I don't go, you know, running through the fields. But boy, what a difference. Um, I like these French fries. I'd like them better if they was fried in oil, but you know. This is good enough for 12.30 at night. Especially when I'm about to close off this video, I'm going to put this all in a bowl. Put plastic over them. Put those in a bowl, each in a bowl. Put plastic over them. I got the other sandwiches, which I'm probably going to wrap up in plastic. I got four beer bacon cheeseburgers, which is exactly what you think it is. A cheeseburger with less tomato, mayonnaise, onion, with bacon and cheese on a beer batter bun. Yeah, four of those too. But I think I'm going to freeze them. Because, let's well, see, I got the less tomato, man, little, less tomato onion on. I don't think I can freeze that. But we'll see. I'm just going to wrap them up and put, I'm just going to put them in the damn refrigerator for tonight. Because I'm going to get one, two, three, four and a half hours of sleep. be back at work tomorrow. Thankfully tomorrow, or today, well it's today now, the menu of work doesn't look excessively challenging. But you never can tell. I might run into something I've never done before, which is getting real good lately. And then you gotta pray they've sent instructions and all that in the damn uh, parts box. But, I'm going to take this Stella and I'm going to put plastic over the top and put that in the refrigerator. I've done that before and it actually held, holds up pretty good, as long as it stays cold.
boy, oh boy. I gotta tell you, I lived off this deer park this week in this home team. And that strawberry banana on uh, the on the end of the fifth day, end of the sixth day, and on the start of the seventh day uh, was a lifesaver. Oh, hey, by the way, my weight ended at 185 pounds, I think it was. 185. Is it solid? 185.4 I think it was 194 to 185.4 so it was like 8 something pounds I, I, I did the I did the damn uh, hold on a minute let me go get that piece of paper I gotta, what's that? I gotta get it here. I know I know honey I'm sorry daddy's gotta go get that piece of paper yeah I know let Daddy get up. Yeah, get up. I can't go get that paper without you getting up here. Oh. I gotta get you up. I'm sorry. God darn it. I'm so mad at myself when I have to do this. Come on, baby. Here you go. Love you much. You can get up in my lap in a minute, okay? Oh. I'm glad I wrote it down because that was wrong. Here you go. It was 183.6 when I got home. From Charlestown today. 183.6. So that's how far my weight went down. That was 3.6 pounds from stopping the fast. So it was 10.4 pounds. Oh, I wrote it down because I knew I'd forget. I said, you know, I I got the memory of a fog cloud. So I gotta write everything down. It, it helps me at work because everybody's always asking me. I gotta ask about a day in November, the, uh, the 15th of November, today. <laughs> Sorry. And, uh, I've been writing my times down in my book, in my time book, because weird things have been happening with my time. It's been getting deleted on my ADP account. And there's only two ways that happens. I know, I know how it's happening. But I'm gonna. Not, I don't have an attitude about it. I just write my stuff down, and then I repost it, and then it gets approved, and I get paid for it. So, I mean, I I think it's someone trying to make sure I'm paying attention to what the hell's going on. Because uh, I'm working a lot of overtime, and no company likes anyone working a lot of overtime. But anyway. It's all good. I still like the place I work. I like the people I work with. And I especially like my customers. Working down here in the middle of Virginia is so much better than working in Washington, D.C. And it's not because the people in Washington, D.C. are bad. It's because the whole area of Washington, D.C. is a pressure cooker. And everybody is in a hurry and everybody's under pressure and everybody's encouraged to not uh, even volunteer to help anybody the attitude down here is completely different the attitude down here is if you have a problem and you're at a job site uh, your daggone customer I work at in Charlottesville and repeatedly my job addresses have don't have the right address them but the people who work in in the Charlottesville area are kind and involved and helpful and nice same thing in Virginia Beach universally So it makes my job a pleasure working for such nice people who are so helpful and so understanding and so kind 
And it makes me so angry at, at, at the environment of Washington, D.C., how it turns people so cold. Because it doesn't have to be that way. And that got worse um, over the years. And it wasn't any particular political party. It was just the environment around Washington, D.C. was just, it's just a pressure cooker. And I want to thank the gentleman who encouraged me to come to work for this company. Because, what are you doing, Poopy? Come on up. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. There you go. There's my girl. What you doing, Poopy? Huh? I love you too. Well, you smell my, uh, you smell the, uh, yeah, let me get some of this. She didn't even touch the stuff I put in the uh, thing. So you can see her. Come on. You want to try? Okay. All right. But yeah, it's a pressure cooker, man. It's just bad. And Charlottesville and Northern and uh, Virginia Beach. Strange, strange uh, uh, um, contrast between the two places. Charlottesville is a college town all the way through. But those college people, I'm going to tell you, those UPA, UVA people in Charlottesville, they work so hard for the community that's there. Don't think it's just a bunch of college kids, snotty college kids going to college. It's not. There's an entire huge medical complex up there that serves a community that helps tens of thousands of people every day. And those people in that hospital complex are amazing they are full of heart and soul and spirit and they are every color race creed of, uh, on, on the whole whole spectrum and they are every nation too and they all are there for the same reason to help people and they show it and they are just nice as they could be and uh, People down in Virginia Beach and in the Norfolk area, especially the Norfolk area. Uh, Norfolk is big Navy town area. Big Navy town area, okay? Virginia Beach is like you would think it's, you know, a party town. But it's also flavored by the presence of the Navy. Suffolk is a classic southern town. And some parts of it are not so good, some parts of it are good. I know Suffolk is uh, the alternate route back to Richmond, which is, if I want to go, if I look on my map, I'm in Norfolk, and I look on my map, and my map says um, the tunnels are backed up. You have uh, a two and a half hour wait. I put in Suffolk into my GPS, which I use Google Maps. I'm trying to use Waze, but man, Waze is having fits on me. But uh, I put in Suffolk, and it'll take you over to Suffolk. When it takes you over to Suffolk, then what you do is follow the signs. You go up 460 West. 460 West is like Route 1 used to be. A classic straight country road all the way up to 95 about 25 miles south of Richmond but it's full of character and there are long stretches without red lights and there's food places all over that place and gas stations and everything and it's so much better than, than driving up that road than it is driving up 64 into backup after backup after backup now what you get out of Norfolk and you get away from the tunnels 64 is a racetrack. I mean everybody does 80 miles an hour up 64. I do 79 <laughs> But it, it's It's definitely 64 is definitely a get there road 
and 460 is a kind of enjoy it road you know now the one thing I would say about 460 is that uh, in bad weather it can be a little bit dangerous because it's it's uh, in some places it's a four lane road two lanes going north two lanes going south or east or west however you want to say it and in that left lane you don't want to be in that left lane with the trucks coming because it's just a uh, yellow line keeping you from getting killed so I tend to pass vehicles and get back in the right lane or not pass them at all so but I like that road and especially if I look at my uh, Google Maps and it says uh, when I look at Google Maps and it tells me there's a backup at the tunnel it's only 49 minutes I know it's an hour and 49 minutes most of the time you know it ain't accurate because when you drive into it it turns to hell real quick and uh, I ain't gonna have that I'd rather drive down to Suffolk and then drive up that way my boss doesn't mind too much as long as I'm able to get back in a good amount he don't want me to come back three hours late because I went to Suffolk but if I can get back in 20 minutes later going up that road he doesn't mind but sitting in those tunnels that are down there in Norfolk. Woo! I'll tell you what. My sympathies to every Norfolk resident. Knucklehead <clears throat> got her motor running. How am I going to turn this dag on? Uh, thing off, Knucklehead. You're going to sleep in my lap. Little monster. I'm about to wake her up, get her out of my lap again. We gotta go turn this camera off. I'm so sorry, honey. I'm sorry, little monster. I love my little monster. Yes, I do. I love my little monster. Yes, I do, little monster. You're my favorite mess. Yes, you are. This is my favorite mess. Yes, you were doing this today. She would rub her nose all over my. Yeah, I was hold my hand here. And what she's doing, she's putting her scent on my pan, and she's rubbing her face across it. And my skin's a little bit rough, but not too rough. <laughs> what are you doing, Knucklehead? Look at Knucklehead. You can see. I love you, nice. You should see. Let Daddy get up and turn this camera off, and we'll put this mess away. You can sit in my lap for, oh, uh, I guess about 15 minutes before I go to bed, okay? Folks, thank you for watching the video. Please fast. Please go see Dr. Jemnadez and Dr. Stenekberg on YouTube. And look at everything they have. There's another doctor called Dr. Berg. And all three of these doctors talk the truth about fasting. The number one thing I would tell you about fasting is it empties out your lower intestines, which extends your life. And I mean that with the bottom sincerity of my heart. But it also, if you have edema, if you have swelling in your legs, it'll lower the swelling in your legs. Uh, what it does for me also is my eyes are better. Um, sometimes I don't even have to wear the glasses to, to uh, read. Uh, my clarity of mind is so much better. And my energy level goes up. I actually felt really good <clears throat> leaving the track tonight. And I stayed at a pretty good energy level until I got home. When I finally got home and got everything in the house, got everything put away, it was like 10 o'clock. And man, I, I just laid in this chair and Knucklehead got up in my lap. And I just collapsed pretty much. Phew. I went to sleep and I got up. Uh, I went to sleep at, uh, I guess, about 10.20. And I got up at 11.20. I woke up at 11.20 and it started. I was like, I almost was like, you know, what day is it, you know? And uh, when you're that tired, you know, if you've worked a lot of overtime, you know what I'm talking about. There's a, a tired that comes from working overtime or just feeling like you worked overtime. Where you lose presence of where you're at. And you'll wake up and you'll be like, where the hell am I at? And, uh, and I, w I had that momentary, you know. Not where I was at, but just, oh crap, did I sleep till the next day? <laughs> but the fast is now officially over. 
I could eat whatever I want to. And I've got I got four loaves of the freshest sourdough bread from Martin's uh, grocery store. I, I was going to buy the Myers Italian bread because it was on sale. And I said, you know what? Let me let me reach up here and grab this loaf of uh, of Martin's bread. Poopy, you gotta get up, baby. I'm sorry. Thank you, buddy. I'm sorry. See, I'm gonna show you this. I'm gonna bring it to you. Let's close the video out. Now this is out of Martin's, but this is actually giant brand here because Martin's is actually a giant affiliate. But this bread is so soft. I mean, you can't believe how soft and wonderful this bread is. I actually should probably take this bread and split these sandwiches, take the bun, maybe not use it, and take that much and make a whole sandwich out of that much barbecue. And that's that's not a bad idea because this barbecue is so powerful it doesn't take a lot to really fill you up anyway thank you for watching the video um, I want to encourage you to fast please uh, see Dr. Jim and Des, Dr. Stenak Berg and then see Dr. Berg also and uh, I think his name is Berg I know it's Dr. Stenak Berg and then, but then I think it's Dr. Berg also. So anyway, have a wonderful Friday, and God bless you, and we will see you next video. Peace.